Welcome dear students to Computer Studies Standard 9 English Medium Chapter number 5 This is part 1 video The name of the chapter is Introduction to Operating System Now here you can see the logo of an operating system which is very famous that is Windows Another operating system which is there in your course that is Ubuntu this is the logo of Ubuntu Now before i continue teaching one thing i would like to say is this chapter is little bit difficult but i have tried my level best to make it easy and understandable so let's begin now even though cpu is the brain of the computer it can do simple operations like adding two numbers multiplying two numbers etc but cannot do much more now from the childhood you have been taught that cpu is the brain of the computer central processing unit right yeah it's brain but then too it's just capable of doing simple things to do any more simple things too it needs a series of instructions okay just simply purchasing a pc without installing operating system without installing programs it's useless it can't do anything more even simple operations like input of a number or output of a number or converting a string of characters to upper case or lower case or displaying an image on the screen must be built on the top of this basic capabilities by writing a series of basic instructions now see this word instructions is used many time by the textbook author in my previous video also i had already explained you what is the meaning of instructions but once more i am telling you don't get confused my dear instructions means nothing but program okay for example if is, there is no program installed in the computer your computer will not work it needs basic series of instructions right so instructions is programs operating system is also made up of uh, is uh, made up of so many instructions that means to do any simple things too it needs a series of instructions now textbook has made this thing little bit difficult but in simple words if i try to explain you then a uh, simple uh, computer will not uh, be of any use until and unless you install an operating system in it okay and then install the required programs also the computer has a large number of peripheral devices like keyboard mouse monitor hard disk optical disk printers and other removable devices operating these devices requires executing a long and complex series of basic instructions means these all devices you just simply fix with the computer it may not work each and every hardware requires a supporting software in it for example if you purchase a new printer then you will have to install the drivers of that uh, printer okay so like that way it is then modern days computer system has a variety of resources like cpu memory secondary storage devices network peripheral devices etc these resources are accessed by multiple programs simultaneously now see computer has got all these things right so many things are connected with it cpu and memory and storage device and network and so many things right and so many programs are installed inside it now all the programs are using this hardware simultaneously for example you can see the video which is played in uh, a video player vlc player or any other player at the same time the monitor could also be used by microsoft word it also can display the output right so like that way it is 
another example for example uh, if you want to give a print order from excel microsoft excel you can give you can also give print order simultaneously from microsoft word also so like this way there are so many hardwares and so many programs are using all of them simultaneously so obviously there is some there is uh, they need some authority that regulates access of this resources for example if two programs use the printing order at a time then what should the printer do it will get confused should it print both the things on the single page no so there should be an authority who will control all these things so who is that authority operating system for example in a school there is a principal who operates the whole school in uh, a country there is government who operates the thing who regulates the thing okay so a computer without any software for doing about type of work is useless because it may not have even basic interface to interact with the user what is the meaning of interface what is the meaning of interaction do you know if you don't know i will explain you in order to provide a cons uh, consistent experience to the user there needs to be a common framework for the human computer interaction now i will explain you what is written in this two paragraphs thus we need an operating system to do all this work i will explain you see in the computer everything is stored in zero and one as it is given here right can the user understand what is written in zeros and one can we understand no so how is this thing communicated this zeros and ones how will it will get transferred to us it will get transferred on the monitor or to us using the operating system right once we install the operating system we will not see ones and zeros and so many things so operating system transfers it to the user and whatever user types is again transferred back to the computer and stored it in the form of zeros and one so this is the role of operating system remember all those who are new on my channel please do subscribe the channel so that you don't miss any updates and thereafter continue watching the video also please hit the like button if you like the video fine now what is an operating system so i don't like to explain the simple things in complex language simple i have shown you the logo here windows is an operating system android is an operating system apple is an operating system am i right so these all are operating systems now according to the textbook definition which is given is an operating system is the controller resource allocator and common service provider for a computer system like the government it performs this functions to ensure smooth and mostly trouble free operation of the computer so as we discussed just now the operating system is controller or of all this resources resources means all the hardwares softwares everything who controls it operating system who allocates the resource operating system who provides the common service operating system okay it is like an government who does all this works proper now the last topic of this video is the startup process of a computer what is the startup process when you press the power button and the computer starts it doesn't start like a uh, tube light or it doesn't start like a fan it takes some time in loading right so what uh, why does it take that much time in loading the thing that is known as booting process or startup process which is explained here now when we supply power to the computer and press the power button okay here is the power button when we press the power button then what happens the power is first supplied to the cpu okay who is the brain of the computer power is supplied to the cpu 
what does the cpu do cpu initializes itself by bringing all its sub components in a known and ready to use state so what does the cpu do first of all it wakes up since it was sleeping so it wakes up another thing all the components which you can see around the cpu the right hardware so cpu sends a signal to all of them and check whether they are in ready to use state or not if it is not in a ready to use state it will send a error message otherwise it will continue the further process fine now it is like a vehicle whose ignition has been turned on and is ready to be driven but where is the driver what is the meaning of driver the instructions to be executed by the cpu that is the operating system right so now cpu has done its all work so now the turn will come of the operating system to do the further work so we'll see that the computer has a permanent type of memory called rom r o m rom in previous chapter i have explained this topic in detail so on the personal computer it is also known as rom bios bios means basic input output system or sometime it's also known as simply bios okay bios contains an internal program called post power a uh, post means full form is power on self test so post performs a basic check of all other components and peripheral devices in the computer and initializes them so that they are ready for use if you have noticed one thing when you press the power button after few seconds your mouse there will be a small blink it will blink then on the keyboard uh, above the numeric keys there is small light that will also blink so what is that thing now bios is checking everything and it is bringing the peripheral devices into ready to use state so it is sending a signal okay and then going ahead hence now the next step in the sequence is to locate the operating system from the hard disk now the work of cpu is over the work of bios is over and now is the work of the operating system operating system loads itself in the into the memory and starts executing itself now see till now operating system we all know is installed in local disk c am i right okay now loading of operating system means what in the previous chapter i taught you about ram okay random access memory or ram which is temporary memory which works on electric power supply right so now operating system loads itself in the ram okay it opens itself in simple words if i say it opens itself in the ram in the hard disk in c drive it was lying dead it was sleeping now it wakes up once the operating system is loaded it takes the control of the entire computer now cpu rom bios nobody has to do anything now all the control is in the hands of the operating system this entire system is known as booting process okay hope the concepts are clear and uh, here we complete this video certainly if you like the video please hit the like button and since some of the things are little bit hard so you may watch the video again or the part of the chapter which you have not understood that you can watch again thank you